Introducing Compound Words at Grammar Songs by Melissa. You have learned about many parts of speech in the English language and how they work together when you read, speak, or write. You have also learned that contractions are words used in the English language. Two words are shortened to make one word, and a special mark called an apostrophe stands in place of the missing letter or letters. So what is a compound word? More importantly, how can understanding compound words make me a better reader? Let's get started. A compound word is a combination of two or more words that function as a single unit of meaning. Huh? What? Let me show you. Take the word mailbox, for example. It's a compound word made up of two nouns put together, mail and box. The two words go together to form a new word with a different meaning, mailbox. But unlike a contraction, none of the letters are left out and replaced by an apostrophe. The compound word mailbox contains all the letters from the word mail and all the letters from the word box. So a compound word is like two words glued together. Yes, two nouns. Well, compound words can be made up of two nouns, but they can also contain words from other parts of speech as well. Many compound words are made up of combined nouns. For example, star and fish make the compound word starfish. And cup and cake make the compound word cupcake. But compound words can be made up of combinations of other parts of speech. The verb play can be combined with the noun ground to form the compound word playground. And the adjective hot can be combined with the noun dog to make the compound word hot dog. Oh, okay. The important thing about compound words is that once the two words are glued together, their combination creates a whole new meaning. Take hot dog, for example. Something that is hot can be spicy or quite warm in temperature. And a dog is an animal that we prize and love as a pet. But putting the two words together makes a food we eat. This could be quite confusing for people learning to speak English. I love hot dogs, but I never thought about that. The other important thing about compound words is to recognize them when you read. The butterfly flew to the sunflower. Since two words are glued together, compound words appear longer than many other words. Don't let compound words intimidate or scare you when you are reading. Look for the smaller words inside the big word to make reading easier. Like butter and fly, or sun and flower. Exactly. Let's read a short story together and look for compound words. We're ready. Let's do it. We'll read each word, and if we see a big word, we won't get scared. It may be a compound word. Right, we can look for the smaller words inside. I want to read. Okay. My family took a trip to the beach. We saw a... Uh-oh. Okay, don't get scared. Let's look for smaller words within the big word. Do you see any smaller words inside this big word? Hmm. I see the word life and the word guard. Very good. Lifeguard is a compound word made up of the words life and guard. A lifeguard is someone who keeps swimmers safe at the beach. May I read next? I want to turn. Of course. We made a big uh. Okay, don't get scared. Let's look for smaller words within the big word. Do you see any smaller words inside this big word? Hmm. I see the word sand and the word castle. Very good! Sand castle is a compound word made up of the words sand and castle. People make sand castles at the beach. My turn! Okay. In the water, we saw a... Uh-oh! Okay, don't get scared. Let's look for smaller words within the big word. Do you see any smaller words inside this big word? Hmm. I see jelly. And I see fish. Excellent. Jellyfish is a compound word made from the words jelly and fish. 
A jellyfish is an unusual type of ocean animal people can see at the beach. Hooray! You've earned a trophy for learning about compound words. Thank you for joining me at Grammar Songs by Melissa.